Hi everyone and welcome back to our channel. So today we'll be making an oven baked cheesecake. This was highly requested by a lot of friends and family of ours. So without further ado, let's get on to the video. Okay, so these are the ingredients you'll need. Some strawberries, half a teaspoon of lemon juice, two teaspoons of vanilla essence, one teaspoon of ground nutmeg, one teaspoon of ground cinnamon, three eggs, some blueberries, one container of Philadelphia cream cheese, a 340 gram size, one of a third of a cup of white sugar, one cup of graham cracker crumbs, half a cup of melted butter, and a baking pan for your cheesecake. So these are the ingredients you'll need. As for the blueberries and strawberries, you can garnish your cheesecake with whatever you would like to garnish them with. And now we'll move on to adding them together. So first we're starting off by making the graham cracker crust of the cheesecake. So first we're going to take our graham cracker crumbs and add them to a bowl. And now we're just going to stir it in just a little bit and then add in our melted butter. And now we're going to stir this until it becomes somewhat of a paste. Okay, so now that we have it as a paste, we're going to put it into our pan so that we can start molding the crust. So just lightly take a spatula or a spoon to flatten out the crust. Um, just flatten it out to the edges of your pan. It depends on what type of pan you have. Usually this is a lot easier with a round pan, but you can also do it with a square pan. And just flatten them out all the way to the edge. And be sure that you don't have any holes in the crust because if there are any holes then the paste would leak through. So as you can see we're using the spoon now to flatten it out just to get it a lot more smoother around the edges and at the bottom of the cheesecake. Okay so now that the crust is flattened out to the consistency that we wanted. We're going to put it in the oven for about three to five minutes and at a heat of 375 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay, so this is what it should look like after three to five minutes in the oven. You don't want it to be too brown because again, you're going to be putting it back in the oven when we add the cheesecake batter. So now we're going to be adding the cheesecake batter ingredients together. So first we're going to start off with our three eggs. Okay, so now we're going to start adding in our Philadelphia cream cheese. Now you'll be adding the whole container of Philadelphia cream cheese to the mixture. Next, we're going to add our ground nutmeg and ground cinnamon. And each of these are one tablespoon each. Then we also added our white sugar. our vanilla essence and our lemon juice. So now we're just going to blend all of this up until it is a pureed consistency. So this is the consistency that you're going to be looking for, kind of a almost watery consistency. So now um, we're putting the batter inside of the crust, so you're just going to do it in a circular motion around the crust until you get to the middle, just so that it has an even distribution of the batter around the crust. And now we're going to bake that for 45 minutes in a 375 degree Fahrenheit oven. Okay, so while the cheesecake is sitting in the oven, you can start working on your garnishing. So for the strawberries, we decided to cut them into slices and garnish them on top like a flower. 
so the strawberries would act as the petals in the flower. Okay, so now it's about time to check your, on your cheesecake, so don't be alarmed if you see it has risen a bit, it's actually supposed to do that. So first we're just going to check to see if it's finished, so we inserted a toothpick in to see if any liquid or anything came out in the center and nothing came out, so that means it's completely cooked. So now we're just going to pop this into the fridge for it to cool just a bit and you will see that the part that's risen up will actually flatten down and look like a normal cheesecake. Okay, so now that our cheesecake has chilled down a bit in the fridge, we are going to cut it into slices. So it's just like cutting it into slices as if you were cutting a pie, a pizza, or a regular cake. So just cut it into how many slices you want, especially how you're going to um, serve it, or for how many people that you're serving. After you've completed cutting your slices, you can start garnishing your cheesecake. So first we're going to start off with our blueberries and we're just going to pop them up into the middle, kind of like the center of a flower. And now we're going to add the strawberries that we pre-cut and we're going to add them around in a circle so that they start to look like a flower. And this is the final cheesecake completed. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like and comment below your favorite recipes for cheesecake. Um, let us know on our Instagram page if you tried out the recipe and how it went. And don't forget to subscribe for more videos and turn on post notifications to be notified whenever we upload. I hope you guys have an amazing day and thanks for watching.